G'day and welcome to this edition of the Colac Herald Sports Mash. Lots of sport going on in the weekend. We've got golf, cricket, bowls, oh, geez, we've got tennis. We've got so many sports coming at you, so let's get stuck straight into it. Colac Golf Club Championship down at the Illuminate Fairways at the weekend. Matt O'Dowd shot to the lead with a 74. Very impressive shooting in good conditions. Jai Tillich, Greg Welsh and Tyson Finn each finished on 75. And Ross Dixon, who plays off eight, he's on 76. So there's a number of guys in contention. Um, a lot of sub-80 scores. So makes for an exciting start to the club championship. Um, more, uh, about 100 people down there, so that was pretty good, good Ben. Good what sport have we got next? Uh, speaking of Matt O'Dea, funnily, funnily oh. enough, he was actually involved in the basketball this weekend. Round four action in the country basketball league here, the Colette Cookers, sorry, the Colette Cookers claim their first win of the season, uh, this time against Portland. Uh, probably uh, playing um, after playing undermanned for the first couple of weeks, they finally got a couple of players back and looked to get a big bit of structure. Uh, Portland had the first quarter lead, but a 25 to 10 second quarter swung momentum the way the Cookers, and after that it was all them in front of a big crowd at Blue Water Fitness Centre. Colac went on to win the match by uh, one, just one point, 70 to 69. The top scorers in this one for Colac were Marcus Larkham, as always, 25. Nathan Lemke in his first game, 14 points and Colac co-coach Justin Williamson on 12 points. Lock. Into the cricket now, thanks for that Ben. A thrilling game you might say, one point. Good segue. Uh, cricket now, Stonyford took on City United and City United got the win here. Stonyford batted first, made nine for 131 and City United replied with eight for 141. Levi Dare for Stonyford made 22. Trevor Piera made 24. James Beasley, 42 not out. David Trewick, he got three wickets for City United. Jack Parker and Matt Garner got two each. David Trewick also made 62 runs, so I've written today, he's a chance for the Bill Johnson medal if it was decided today. <laughs> David Miranda's 19 not out, Joe Dare had a bowl, 4 for 7, impressive figures, and Levi had 2 for 23 as well for Stonyford. So a good win there for City United. Colac versus Irrawarra now, Colac remain on top of the ladder, a big win here. Irrawarra 125, Sam Kelly 55, Alex White got his second 5 wicket haul in 2 weeks, 5 for 25, count them. Uh, Aiden Spence, 2 for 16, and Colac in reply, 3 for 177. Adrian Murray is blasting another 56, his third half century of the season. Stewie's had London good form, 42 not out. Dan Mackerel, 26, and Phil Borg, the recruit, 21 not out. So a strong win there for Colac at Eastern Reserve. And in our final game, it's Colac West versus Elvie. Elvie, 8 for 91 of 40 overs, if you don't mind. It is a big ground out there at Western Oval. Not a lot of value for shots. Pat Seal, 3 for 20 in that innings. Nathan Humphrey, 2 for 11. And Dale Menzies, 2 for 15. Another good Colac West bowling effort. Colac West, in reply, they were cruising, but then they got into trouble, but they got the win. They scored 98. Alex Horn, 23. And Pat Seal, 22, the main contributors. Now let's get stuck into the lawn bowls with Ben. Thanks a lot. Plenty of uh, big bowls results at the weekend as there always are. It's an exciting competition this season. So we've got round five of Crang and White Bowls Divisions. Saturday Pennant Central secured its second win of the season down in Simpson, which has been a little bit up and down so far, but they always finish strong as they, like they did last year. Uh, Central claimed all four rinks in this, in this, uh, this match, which is the first time they've done that this season, with a total score of 99 to 65. Brendan Addison, Durham Mulgrew, Ricky Finn, and Chris the Bowls Wiz Price all having rink wins in this one. In other games at the weekend, Wichelsey, the only club to secure a win away from home at the weekend, travelling down to Lawn, where it beat the Coastal Club. Uh, three rinks to one, 109 98. City claimed top place on the ladder with a four rink win over Cobden, 99 70. Um, and speaking of top place in the ladder, that's where Camperdown Golf was until the weekend where it slipped all the way down to fifth. Ooh. Ouch. Um, after a one rink to three loss to Colac, 76 105. And in the final game of the weekend, the reigning Premier at Camperdown welcomed to Polar Bay and beat the Coastal Club three rinks to one, 108 83. No worries about that. It is a big year in bowls, and Simpson do tend to get better because they get players back towards the end of the season. That's my bowls knowledge from last year. Enjoy it. Here we go. Tennis now to finish off. Lawn, Colac Lawn Tennis Club. Three sections of juniors and one section of seniors. The senior winner was Cassandra Smith, 22-12, while Jason Monane was runner-up with 22-15. In the juniors, Luke Garner and Lachlan Bone won section 1, 18-5. Cooper Stevens took out section 2, 18-4. And Lyndon Lewin took out section 3, 
14 to 8. They've got the teams competition starting this weekend, so get your racket out, sign up, and get, get a team down there and play some tennis this weekend. Uh, in Polworth Tennis now, Kawarin defeated Warren Court in a thriller. Five sets, 38 games to four sets, 37 games. Penny Royal had a huge win against Parwin Downs. Nine sets, 54 games, zero sets, 11 games. And Forrest defeated Biak, seven sets, 51 games to two sets, 26 games. So the action in the tennis heating up there as well, which brings us to our favourite part of the show, the Colac Herald Sportsman of the Week. And it was a bit hard to go past this bloke this week. He's a bit of a multi-talented sportsman. Matt O'Dowd, Ben. That's right. He's had a very successful weekend kicking off with a uh, leading... 74 in 74 the golf. 74 in the uh, Colac Golf Club Championship at the weekend. So he's in very good form after the first round. Backed it up uh, in basketball on Sunday with a win with the Colac Cougars helping them to their first victory of the season. So how could we look past in just an all-round sportsman? We reward these people, so well done, Matt. Well done, Matt. And that's it from Ben and I this week. We'll catch you next week with all the sports action. See ya. Yeah.